As Christians on Blue Sunday, let's close our eyes and take a moment to pray for victims of child sexual abuse. But when we open our eyes, let's also open our hearts to what's going on in our society. Help me understand, God, why doesn't anybody love me? Jesus teaches us, what you do to the least of my children, you do to me. You're worthless. You're stupid. I wonder what it must be like for kids who never have to run away. Mom says he has to hit me because I'm so bad. Child abuse happens everywhere and takes many forms. It can be physical, emotional, or sexual. It takes place in homes, in schools, and even churches. One in three girls and one in six boys are sexually abused before the age of 18. According to the FBI, the average age of a child victim of human trafficking is 11, and these precious children are sold up to 24 times a day. Growing up in the church, we never talked about abuse, yet some of the first stories in the Bible are about abuse in its many forms. The church should explore these stories and teach how God condemns these abominations. There are things we can do right now that will decrease the chances of a child suffering abuse. When our kids are young, the most important thing we can do is teach them not to keep secrets from their parents. If a non-parent asks them to keep a secret, the response needs to be, I can't keep secrets from my parents. When your kids get older, talk to them about the Halloween candy rule. When they get an open piece of candy, what do they do? Throw it away. Everyone knows that. So why would that same kid go to a high school or college party and drink whatever is handed to them with no clue as to its effect on their body? Co-ed parties are the worst possible places to experiment with drugs and alcohol, and all our kids need to understand that. Jesus gave us a new commandment. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. As you prayed, did you ask God how he could allow child abuse to happen? Did you ask God why he hasn't done anything to stop it? Well, God did do something. He made you. He made this church, and we are to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We are the answer. For more information about things you can do right now, go to securehighered.com and click on What Can Parents Do?